Hello everyone, welcome to Research Hub. In this video, I am going to discuss the different article status that you will see after submitting your article in a journal. Often for young researchers, including PhD scholars, master's students, and also like young faculty members. When submitting an article to a journal for the first time, we see some journal status in the web portal, but then we're confused what does it really mean, right? So here I'm going to tell you what does it really mean in brief. So in most journals, regardless of the publisher of the journal or the system it is using, as soon as you submit an article to the journal, you will see that the status will be like submitted to the journal. That simply means that the article has been submitted and there will be a journal manager or the editor himself will look into the article and will check for a few basic things like if the article has been submitted following the author guidelines or if there are high level of plagiarism and things like that. And then it might send the article back to the author if there are some additional documents to be submitted or something like that or it will send the article to the editor. It will assign an editor-in-chief or an associate editor and it will sell the article to the editor. Once there is an edi editor handling the article, we will see that the article is with editor. Okay. And during this time, your article will have a unique manuscript ID. And then if the editor decides to send the article for review, then the, the editor will identify and invite some reviewers to review your article and that time you will see the status of the article as under review. But before going to under review, you might get a rejection on the article. If your article is not a novel enough, does not have, is not novel enough, does not have enough contribution, uh, has some major lackings, sometimes it could be just out of scope. Your article does not fit with the scope of the journals. So that's why you really have to read the article guidelines and scope of the journal clearly before you submit your article to a journal. Okay. So you will then, if, but if it is the case that the editor thinks it's worthy and it goes with the scope of the journal, then they will invite reviewers and you will see the status under review. And often it takes like three to six months in the review process. But nowadays there are some journals which, can, which are quite fast and gives review within a month or two, something like that. As soon as the editor receives the review reports, you will see that requ review, required reviews are completed. So that would mean that the target number of reviews are completed. Normally, if most journals follow the threshold of two review reports for, your, for each of the articles they publish, but some journals also use the threshold for three review reports. For example, I am senior editor of the journal, International Journal of Emerging Markets, where we follow a threshold of three reviewers for each article, right? So as soon as we get all the review reports, then you will see the status review, required reviews completed. But then the, it comes to the handling editor to make a decision. And when the handling editor is making a decision, normally we'll see the status decision in pro process or decision in progress. Sometimes the associated editor or senior editor will send the, communicate the review comments with the editor in chief. It can take like one week or two in this process, you know, and the editor in chief will communicate with you directly. So in this process, you will see something like decision in process. Okay. If you get a major revision, then the article status will be revised. Major or minor revision, what kind of, wh whatever revision you will get, you will see that status revise. And as soon as an article has been completed, the whole process, let's say it was a revision, after a couple of rounds of revision, the article is accepted then you will see accepted, completed, accept. If after the first round it was rejected, you will see completed, reject. Even if it was desk rejection, as in the very early stage of submission of the article, you will see completed, reject. So these are traditional status of articles you will see in most of the journal portals, regardless of the publisher and the, uh, regardless of the publisher and the journal portal, uh, that different publishers are using. Okay, for different publishers, you will you might see s they have different titles, but this one, this categorization I picked from Elsevier. But for different publisher, 
they might differ slightly, but most of the times you will see they mean the same thing. And some journals have fewer categories than these categories, but some journals might have even more categories for their status. But these are the main ones. And if you understand these, you will know what is happening actually on your article. And normally, if after you submit your article, it has been like three, four months and you still see that the article is with editor, the second step here, it is a good idea actually to write the editor very politely to handle the article, whether it would be a disk rejection or it will go for review, regardless of that, just politely remind the editor that I have submitted my article, I, I, article ID this, which I submitted like three months back. I see that it is still with editor you'd be really grateful if you if you can handle the manuscript at your convenience something like that very polite email never be rude or be arrogant with the reviewers and the editors you know it it will never lead to a happy ending so it's always good that you uh, be very polite with the reviewers and editors in the communication process okay we have some more videos on how to uh, respond to reviewers and editors so if you're interested check out our researcher portal so thank you. I hope you found this video useful. Good luck with your manuscript submission.